we're all familiar with wearables and fitness gadgets that can track your activity and your health. But a new type of wearable you might come across doesn't count steps or track sleep at all. No, this wrist-worn device isn't about metrics, it's about temperature. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and the Ember Wave 2 is the newest version of the popular curiosity known as the Ember Wave. This device promises to help regulate your body temperature, warming you up in an over air conditioned office or cooling you off when your transit ride gets too hot. But it's also made to help women combat things like night sweats, hot flashes and the symptoms of menopause. The Ember Wave 2 is what's called a personal thermostat, but can it actually deliver on adjusting your own personal temperature environment? I had a chance to try out the Ember Wave 2 here for a few weeks at home, at work, while traveling, and as part of my day-to-day -day life. I'll tell you all about what you can expect from it in this video. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. So what is the Ember Wave 2? Wave I first reviewed the Ember Wave back in 2019, and since then the company has released its second version of the product, and as you can see, it's been updated significantly. Ember Wave is essentially a personal thermostat that claims it can make you feel warmer or cooler depending on what you're looking for. You wear the Wave 2 on the inside of your wrist and you'll simply press a button on the side here to deliver warmth or cool on demand as you need it, or you can choose from some preset programs that will run for a set period of time. Let's talk about how the Ember Wave works. Ember says it works with your body and your mind to naturally change your perceived temperature in just a matter of minutes. It precisely cools or warms the temperature sensitive skin on your wrist, triggering a response by the rest of your body and your mind to help you feel about five degrees Fahrenheit cooler or warmer overall. Now, why the wrist? Well, there's a higher density of temperature sensitive nerve endings on the inside of your wrist than on your fingertips, for example. The Wave 2 works essentially the same way as putting an ice cube or a heat pack on your wrist cooling or warming one sensitive area, and that has ripple effects, I guess you could say, throughout the rest of the body. Ember says the Wave 2 senses your skin temperature and uses precisely engineered algorithms to maximize the effectiveness of its thermal sensations. The original Ember Wave was big and bulky and very square, looking a lot like an old school wrist computer. The new version has been made a lot smaller and a lot more thoughtfully and truthfully a lot more feminine. It's softer, rounder, and prettier than before. Even so, it's big, though not much more so than an Apple Watch, for example. The device does also come with a lovely Milanese loop style band that makes it look chic. Setting up your Ember Wave 2 device will be really quick and easy. Just download the Ember Wave 2 app, and this is a new app if you did have the previous one. You'll sign up for or sign into an account. Turn the Wave 2 on and pair it to your phone by following the super easy instructions inside the app. You'll be asked to input some personal data, things like your age, sex, height, and weight, so that Ember can better tailor the effects of this device to your personal needs and your body. Using the Wave 2 is dead easy. There's just two buttons on the side of the device. Push either one quickly to turn it on. One button has a small bulge on it while the other doesn't. This isn't as intuitive as the previous design and I kept forgetting which button was for heat and which one was for cool. By the way, the button with the nib gives you cooling and the button without the nib gives you the warming. Fortunately, a small red or blue LED light will confirm whether you are heating or cooling. The device is supposed to instantly provide a warming or cooling sensation on your wrist. Now, in my experience with the original Ember Wave, this sensation was quick, noticeable, and powerful. I am happy to confirm the Wave 2 is just as effective and quick as its predecessor. Giving that button a push right here on the side will give you instant warmth or cooling sensations on your wrist, and you can dial the level up or down as you might need to. You can use your smartphone to control how much heat or cool you're after. Once the Wave 2 is synced with your phone, you can simply load up the app and tap to heat or cool and how high or low you want to go. The app will also display your battery life remaining and it lets you sync the device to keep track of your patterns. There are a few presets available in the Ember app, which you can use as programmed help. 
Fall asleep warm or cool mode lasts about 30 minutes, but also uses longer, gentler waves and lower light levels on the button to help you drift off. There's also an all night warm or cool mode to help you stay asleep and shake off any temperature fluctuations you may usually experience. So the one question everyone has been asking me about this device is does the Ember Wave actually work? I'm happy to confirm that it does, and I find it helps me feel instantly warmer or cooler with just the touch of the button on the wrist here. The warming and the cooling sensations are completely legit. As my wrist warms under the device, I swear I feel warmer overall. Ditto for the cooling. It's like having a cold compress pressed on your wrist, and the effect does spread, helping me feel cooler overall. Now, I realize there may be a bit of a psychological effect since the wave isn't actually blowing hot or cool air all over my body, but does that matter? The Ember Wave 2 has helped me effectively deal with the ever fluctuating temperatures of the season and it's definitely helping me relax at home without needing a blanket or to open a window or constantly adjusting the thermostat. The battery on the Wave 2 seems quite long lasting. I charged it fully and used it intermittently for about a week and it didn't need recharging. Ember says the battery should last you between 3 and 15 hours depending on if you're leaning on the warming or cooling and how much you're using it and at what power level. I've posted a link to a chart at techgadgetscanada.com that lays out battery life expectations a bit more clearly. Overall, I really, really like this device, and I think anyone who has to cope with radically fluctuating office temperatures, hot flashes, or constantly feeling cold definitely needs one of these on their wrist. The Wave 2 legitimately makes me feel warmer or cooler with noticeable warmth or cooling effects on my wrist that do flow through the rest of my body. It's helped me adapt with freezing winter temperatures, and it's going to be a lifesaver during summer air conditioning season. Now, if I have any cons to share about this device, it's that the actual device itself, though Ember has honestly done a lot of work to streamline it, it is still fairly large and can be a bit awkward to wear. Of course, you can put it on for a few minutes while doing a treatment and then take it off rather than wearing it nonstop all the time. Overall, though, I can't recommend Ember Wave enough. It's listed at $349 US, but I've recently seen it drop to around $299 US. So if you want to read more about this device or reference any of what I've talked about here, you can head over to techgadgetscanada.com for a full write-up. There you can ask me any questions you have about the Ember Wave 2. You can also post them here in comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.